Uh, we need to make sure that there's peace, uh, that there's security. Uh, so all those things are sort of the foundation. Uh, and then we need to make sure that we have uh, um, development of business, um, both uh, small and medium-sized business, uh, larger business, uh, trade, uh, all of these things uh, work towards the same goal. Um, we need to focus on agriculture uh, as well and develop that. Uh, so there's, there's many things uh, that's possible. Uh, but I hope uh, that you got the point when I was showing the graph of the last 200 years of the development of all the world's countries. So the one thing that is really, really devastating and um, a big problem for development uh, is conflict, armed conflict. That is devastating. I don't need to tell you about that. Uh, so uh, peace is really, really important and it takes uh, work. Um, uh, so I think we need to address many issues uh, and have a clear strategy on how to get there. Uh, then I do think that this is uh, really an important time uh, in Africa's history. Uh, if you notice, all the countries are moving up and to the right, but it's uneven. Uh, the African countries, especially those that are uh, south of Sahara, uh, are moving slower. Uh, and less up than many of the other countries, right? Um, so it's uneven on the country level, uh, but all of them are moving in the right direction. Uh, so hopefully we are getting to that point in Africa as well. Um, if uh, we are able to continue the good progress, uh, we will actually move uh, up and to the right, have a longer life expectancy, better health, uh, and uh, higher income uh, per capita that is good for everyone, not only for a few. Um, so that is uh, the hope. Uh, so I think uh, I tried to also answer your question, uh, question number two, what is the hope? But I don't want to uh, either say that it's um, going to be easy or that this is, um, you know, that there's no challenges. Of course there are challenges. Uh, and uh, this country, more than most other countries uh, have been uh, going through really, really tough times with the civil war, uh, and then when things were getting a bit better with Ebola. Uh, so these two shocks uh, have been more than what's just for one country. Uh, but now you are on um, in an important time in history uh, where real changes uh, can be made uh, in the years to come. Uh, so that makes me hope. The third question uh, was uh, partnerships, uh, right? And um, uh, the UN, uh, if you ask about the UN, um, now uh, here in this country, the military operation arm, uh, the UNMIL uh, of the UN, is leaving next year. Uh, but the UN will stay uh, with a lot of operation with the country team. Uh, and they have uh, uh, many programs uh, that, go to, that go towards the same end which is to reach the Sustainable Development Goals. Um, so that will definitely uh, continue uh, in all the fields uh, that they are working from, uh, you know, children, agriculture, uh, democratic governance, etc. Uh, so there are many important areas there. Um, but you probably also asked about Norway. Uh, now we challenged it uh, in two ways. One is through the UN. And that's why I'm, I'm a goodwill ambassador for the United Nations Development Program, because Norway supports a lot of uh, that work. Um, and we have also in the past partnered uh, with uh, local authorities here. Uh, in, you know, one example is uh, uh, the uh, hydropower plant um, at the Mount Kofi. Uh, where we produce, where you produce now, um, clean electricity uh, that is also good for uh, the environment that does not pollute or um, emit greenhouse gases. Uh, so that's just uh, one example. Good. So the, the UN will still, as we see.